I'm Stephanie from We Love Soaps, and I'm talking to Michelle Ann Carter, who plays Michelle on the online soap Venice. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, so Michelle, tell us a little bit about your character, Michelle. Well, Michelle is Gina, played by Krista Chappelle. Michelle is Gina's assistant, her right hand, her confidant, uh, the one who keeps her in line. Uh, they have a really good relationship. Uh, Gina's taken care of her for a while. They, they take care of each other. Uh, and she keeps, she keeps Gina's ball rolling, keeps business going, helps to keep her life on track. Now, I believe I've heard that this role was written for you. Tell us a bit about that. <laughs> Yes, I am friends with the writer, Kim Teresi, uh, and she told me, she's like, I'm writing a role for you in my web series, so you better be nice to me. And so I don't think I had a, an option of taking it or not. She basically said, you're going to do this. Uh, no, she was really nice, and she said, I've done the script. She's like, I want you to read it uh, and let me know if you want to do it, which was really nice. And I read it, and I loved it, and I called her immediately and said, I'm so in. And she's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so... Yeah, I couldn't imagine not saying yes, especially after reading it and loving Kim as much as I do. So, <laughs> Now, without getting in too much trouble, can you give us a few hints or spoilers about where your character might be going this season? Let's just say that I keep Gina in line. I help her, help her move along in the right direction, per se. Uh, it's, it's just, yeah, the first season is really good. We establish everything. Uh, and... You'll see some twists and some turns to start, and there's a lot more to come in the second season. You'll learn a, more, a lot more about me in the second season, so you'll, you'll stay interested and want to come back and see some more. <laughs> now, Michelle, for those viewers who don't know your career history, tell us a little bit about your, your path in acting. Okay. I, um, I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia. I have a BFA in acting from Virginia Commonwealth University. I've been in Los Angeles for nine years. I uh, have a history in commercials. I had a co-star role on Grey's Anatomy. And this is my, my big venture. Kim is really helping me out and pushing me along in my career by writing this part for me and getting me out there. So this is my big step. I've also done some voiceover work on a, a animated web series called Orlando's Joint. I love doing voiceover as well, but you know, this is really where it is for me and I, this is this is it right now. So, I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> now, as you probably heard, web series are very in right now. How is it different for you shooting a web series versus the other roles you've done? It's interesting because it's it's really groovy because it's not on a lot anywhere and you know you get to go to the different locations and everyone's really laid back it's very professional and straightforward and we get things wrapped and done all the scenes shot but everyone's just so nice and it's really fast paced and I like it you know we'll be done in just a couple of days we started shooting a few days ago but it's click 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 done 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 and it's really really nice um, but it's different than having to go to the set and I mean go into the studios and shoot on the lot and doing all that stuff. You get to go out to the different locations and shooting in different places, and it's, it's really, really groovy. So I like, I like all of it, <laughs> on the lot, out in the street. I don't mind <laughs> any of it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you mentioned that it shoots quickly, and soaps often shoot quickly as well. Since you're not coming from soaps, have you had to adapt how you work for the fast pace? It's very interesting. I don't feel like I'm having to adapt too much, and I know that the soap pace is really fast. Everyone talks about how quick that is, and never having to deal with that before. I really like it. I think it's great. Again, you get in, you do your thing, and you get out. You're not, I, I love that. I think it's great. And, you know, it hasn't been a problem with me. I'm pretty open to anything, and I'm pretty flexible. So, I'm, you know, I'll do whatever you need me to do. Quick, fast, slow, you know, I'll make it happen. Whatever you need, I will do it for you. <laughs> now, Michelle, um, have you been a soap fan, generally? Oh, darling, I grew up with soaps. I planned my afternoons and my summers around all the CBS soaps. I grew up watching The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, As the World Turns, and God in Light. Always. That's how I lived my life as a teenager. And I just did. And it was interesting because I always thought, oh, it'd be cool to be a, a soap actor. You know, I always wanted to be an actor. I was like, wow, it'd be great to be a soap actor. You get to work every day. La, 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 la. And then I never thought about it again as I got older. <laughs> I don't know why. I just never did. I just did theater and then other television and film stuff and just never thought about soaps again. But being immersed in this soap world right now, I'm just like, this is 
really great and everyone's so connected and so close it's like one big family and it's a really nice thing to be a part of it really is so yes i love soap operas i always have i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna keep it real i do <laughs> so it must be very pleasant working with these all these soap stars what's your experience been like you mentioned how close you are are there any funny stories from the set or <laughs> It's really nice coming to coming together and meeting all these people who've worked together before and working with Crystal who is just so giving and being on set with her is just a blessing because she's so sweet and her husband Michael Sabatino and everyone's just so great and they've all worked together before and know each other from different mediums and bringing together all these people that they enjoy working with they're so nice I can't say it enough everyone's just so sweet and they're really happy to work on this project which is really really good and they're all really funny and really silly behind the scenes so that makes me happy too because I'm really silly and really funny too so <laughs> I feel right at home <laughs> I understand that Crystal is directing some scenes has she directed one of yours yet she has not directed any of mine yet. I've been in all the scenes that I've shot and so far with her. Mm -hmm. I've been in those. Uh, but she just directed a scene recently, but I was not in that one. So she, she's enjoying it, though. I can tell you that. She really is enjoying it. <laughs> is there anything else particularly that you want us to cover to know about you or its role? <laughs> <laughs> Just know that I am loving this. It's just so much fun, and it's a great ride, and I hope that everyone just enjoys the show. Uh, I think that everyone will, will find themselves in someone in Venice series because it's about all of us. It's about community. It's about family and coming together and the people we surround ourselves with. I just think that everyone's going to love it. I really do. Cool. One last question. If fans want to find you online, do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page or Twitter? Where can they find you? <laughs> they can find me at at... M. Carter 43 on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Steph. <laughs>